gang on fight with another video. I say y'all fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Let's get straight into it, man. A lot of people want to know why FBG Duck didn't leave Chicago. Why he stayed. And he did an interview with Vlad a while back, years ago. And he basically said, why leave Chicago and he know how to move in Chicago? Where to go, where not to go. And then if he goes somewhere else, it's like he going to be an outcast to the situation. He's not going to know where to go and where not to go. So he felt more comfortable in Chicago. Now, Vlad interviewed FBG Butter and FBG Butter basically said the same thing. Duck didn't want to move out of Chicago because he didn't want to get extorted. Check it out. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notification. It's free. Do it for me. Once again, I say, okay, let me let me double down on what I said last time. You need to move out of Chicago. Yeah. And he's telling me the same thing. He's arguing with me. Are the two of you having this conversation during this time? Like, maybe yeah. you should move out of Chicago? Because at that point, Doug yeah. is the biggest. He the biggest name out of He's the life. biggest name out of FBG, yeah. clearly. Because Slide is a big Everything song. And he had signed a deal and people are fucking with him. But... You guys are actively still going at it, yeah, you know, the street. old block guys, yeah. But the old block ends, you know. But even even the guys was telling Duck to leave, and he was like, his his, his thing with us would be, why leave my city to go to somebody else's city? And I probably had to deal with the same thing, but something worse is because motherfuckers thinking I should check in or they going to store me. And I just want to speak on that situation. Um, First off, I want to say I feel like if you got any kind of clout, if you got any type of money, or you trying to elevate in life, you got to leave your city. That just point blank. Leave the city. But I kind of understand the process that FBG Duck was thinking. And there's a lot of people that feel this way. They feel like, look, I done spent so much time surviving in my city. Yes, it's dangerous. But I spent so much time surviving and getting familiar with where to go, where not to go, and how to move, that they feel comfortable. Like, it's like you in a dangerous environment, but you done mastered the environment, so you feel comfortable in this dangerous environment. But it's like when you go to a new environment, you have to learn everything all over again. You feel vulnerable because you don't know. Can I go to this store right here? Can I go to that store? Like you have no clue of what's going on. So I understand. But I want to say this. It's better to go somewhere else in the doubt than stay in this dangerous environment and die in your own city. That's not true. You move to the suburbs, you move to Calabasas, where I live, or where Chief Keith went to go live. Yeah. No one's checking you for nothing. You're you're hanging out, you're going to the mall. It's, it's not like that. These situations don't happen. Yes, occasionally, every so often. I mean, but you know, he, he was a street nigga, so you know, naturally, even if he would have took all that money and went and bought him a big house somewhere out here, right? And naturally, his street instinct gonna put him somewhat in the street environment around street niggas. You see, not saying? necessarily, man. He drink lean, I, 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 gang. I'm gonna tell you, like he drink. Now, I want to say this. Uh, I understand what Butter was saying at that point, and Vlad, it kind of went over his head. He didn't really understand it. Sometimes Vlad res uh, listened to respond instead of really taking it in. What Butter was saying is, he said, Duck could have went to another state, another city, or whatever the case may be, got this big old house, moved to the suburbs. But his street mentality would have put him back in street situations. He said he drank lean. Butter is saying that the way that Duck think and him being a street dude, he eventually would have, just said if he went to Alaska, he would have found the hood that's in Alaska because it's needs in the hood that he need. He need that lean. He need that marijuana. So Butter is saying that no matter what Duck would have went, what suburbs, he would have found that hood in that state. He would have found a hood 
in that state because he a street wigger at heart and in mind. So he felt like, hey, no matter what duck would have been, he would have been hanging with the street dudes. That's basically what he said. You mean your enemies aren't buying plane tickets and traveling to go get you somewhere? It's not happening. That's not what happens. Nah. These are usually crimes of opportunity. Yeah. You just happen to see the person or someone tells you they're nearby. Yeah. No one's going to tell you, hey, FBG Butters in Arkansas. Okay, let me go book a ticket to Arkansas. Maybe. Hang out in Arkansas and see if I can bump into him one day. Like, no. And see, that's what Vlad thought he was saying. Vlad was thinking like, oh, he Butter was saying Duck could go to the suburbs in, a, in Arkansas and the ops going to come. No, he was saying that Duck could go to the suburbs in Arkansas, but Duck ass going to eventually go to a hood in Arkansas because he a street dude at heart, street dude in mentality. He going to need lean. He going to need something to smoke. He going to, you know what I'm saying, want to hang with the guys, stuff like that. That's what he meant. But check out this interview where Duck basically told Vlad like, the same thing he'd rather just stay in chicago because he know what they expect he know where to go and what not to go okay so so what i'm saying is you see a lot of a lot of chicago artists who just leave chicago you know mm -hmm. why, why stay in chicago when these types of shootings are happening see what it is with me like i got more in chicago probably than they got more in chicago like it's shit that I gotta make sure I take care of here first before I do anything. Like, you feel me? Like, and plus, I ain't, I ain't the type of motherfucker that wanna go move to another city because I don't, I don't trust nobody. You feel me? I don't trust new people. I don't wanna hang around new people. I don't want no new friends because I don't trust nobody. Yeah, motherfucker turn fake on you anyway. You can die anyway. You can get shot anyway. You feel me? But it's just like in Chicago. I know better, you feel me? Like, I know what to do and what don't to do and what not to do, you feel me? And it's like, now nah, how I move around, shit. I'm safe, you feel me? I ain't gonna say too much, but, you know what I'm saying? And I just wanna say this, man, he's right. Like I said, people don't wanna have to go and learn people all over again. It's like a pain in the, <laughs> but he's right. You know what I'm saying? You move to these new places, and you don't know is these people genuine you don't know if these people are gonna be cool with you and then portray you you do not know but it's about taking a chance man especially when you're coming from an environment where your life can be taken any second so you have to take that chance in that new environment man and just hey go for what we know but y'all get in the comments and tell me what you think man um butter said FBG Duck didn't want to get extorted if he moved somewhere else. Do y'all think it was that? You know, y'all heard his response to Vlad when Vlad told him to move. Do y'all think it was he didn't want to get extorted? Or do you think he just didn't want to be put in a situation of the unknown? He don't know who real. He don't know who fake. He don't know where not to go and where to go. Get in the comments and let me know, man. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Y'all don't know, man. I'm helping people get monetized. If y'all don't know, man, I be behind the scenes. I be behind the scenes helping these new YouTubers get monetized, helping their channel grow. A lot of people you see I do promo for, I'm behind the scenes helping their channel grow. If you a small YouTuber and you trying to get monetized, you need a thousand subscribers. You need 4,000 watch hours. Hit me up on Instagram at music101ceo. And we're going to get the business club, man. I'm going to put something right here, man. You can see this young lady right here, she put the work in. She listened to what I said, and she put the work in, and she got results quick as a mug. You hear me? Listen, I thought it was a glitch. I ain't going to lie. She is the fastest growing YouTuber that I ever gave advice or help in my life. For real. 
because a lot of y'all be procrastinating. It's a lot of YouTubers that I took under my wing and they not consistent. This young lady right here, she was consistent. I told her idea. I gave her some tips in less than a week. Less than a week. Her numbers triple. Her numbers triple. A month later, she monetized. Man, listen. If you're trying to win, hit me up on Instagram. Music 101. See you. Every day. Every day you wake up, you need to promote your company. Every day you wake up, you need to promote your brand. A lot of people don't like to pay for promotion. Well, guess what? You need to turn into a promoting guru. Marketing is the number one key to success. A lot of people is not making it in life when it comes to company businesses or music or talent, whatever it is, the product you're selling, whatever it is, because not enough people have seen or know you exist. You can have the best product in the world. You can be the best rapper in the world. You can have the best company in the world. But if we don't know you exist, how can we engage? You need to put it in their face every day. You post it every day. I don't care if you get one like, post it again, post it again, post it again. They either go unfollow you or they go engage. If I see something come across my phone five, six times, I'm going to eventually tap on it to see what it's about. Marketing, promoting is the key to success. Y'all better get to it. Music 101. Promo alert. Listen, if you guys want promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. Music101ceo. I'm doing $20 promo. For $20, you will get one video promoted on my YouTube channel. For $40, I will promote three videos for you in my YouTube channel. $60, I'll promote six videos for you in my YouTube channel. And $120, I will promote 12 videos for you on my YouTube channel. You need YouTube promo? You trying to get your business up? You trying to run your numbers up? Hit me up at Music 101 CEO. Hey, you don't want to miss it. The results is great. Thank you, Music 101 CEO. Thank you, baby. We're on the road to 100K, and I need y'all help. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. When you see my videos, hit that like button. It helped push my videos in the algorithm. It helped more people see my videos, and it also give me a chance to get more subscribers. Y'all already know I can't do it without y'all, man.